Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing and Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Not only that, don't forget to turn on your notifications. That way you know when future videos are actually rolling out. Now today what we're actually going to do is we're going to replace the intercooler for the turbo system. If you watch my previous video, I go in and show you how to actually test the intercooler to see if it's bad or if it's good. So as a recap, basically what happened was I pressurized the system to roughly around 15 pounds of uh, pressure and well we had air leaking straight down the intercooler. So what that means is when we're going down the highway and we come to a hill or we want to pass a car or we just have a heavy load in general. Well what happens is when you go to engage the turbo it actually calls for more boost. Well, you have a certain amount of airflow that actually travels. Well, just like an air compressor, your uh, intercooler is like an air tank, sort of. You have fresh air that comes through it, cooling the air, but it is also a tank that pressurizes air. Okay? So, when that ruptures, you're not able to keep that consistent. Meaning, you're not getting full boost. So, I'm not sure exactly what my turbo is rated for, but it's going to be between 25, maybe 30 pounds of boost. I'm lucky if I'm getting 15 to 20 pounds going down the highway. So, what that means is, I don't have enough power when it comes to hills. I don't have enough power when I'm going to take off in intersections. It takes me a long time to build up speed, which is not really good. So, we're going to change it out today, and, uh, well, I got a new one from the dealership, so hopefully this goes well. So, let's get this video rolling. Okay, so, the first thing that we're going to do is, you see the strap that goes down to the actual hood itself? That is holding the hood propped up. There is a hinge mechanism down here in the bottom, but what we're going to do is, we're going to take these straps loose. There's one here, one on the opposite side. We're going to take these loose and fold the hood forward, propping the hood on a metal can. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, on my truck, this is actually a 916 nut. Okay, so now we gotta go do the other side. Okay, I'm going to have my son on the other side help me with this. So what he's going to do is he's going to actually push the hood up just a little bit. And that what that's going to do is that's going to take the tension off of these straps so I can actually pull them off of this bolt. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, so now we're at the front, and we're going to slowly lower this hood down. Okay, we're going to check the boards, make sure they're okay. Okay, everything looks fairly steady, so we're good. We're just going to leave this right here. Okay, so 
what raising the hood actually did for us was the straps are actually in the way to pull the inner cooler straight up. This is the inner cooler. Okay, this is actually sandwiched in between the radiator right here. This is the inner cooler. This is the air conditioning condenser. Okay, so with having more room, sometimes it's a little bit better. As for now, let's go ahead and take this uh, side pipe off. Okay, for this, we're going to need a half inch socket for here and a 17, 16th socket for up here. Okay, I've got this clamp loose. So all we're going to do is just move it up out of the way a little bit. I guess I need to move it just a hair more. We'll just move it up out of the way a little bit. And now we're going to start on this one here. Okay. So now we're just going to give it a tap to loosen it up. Loosen up just a little bit more here. Okay. So we got this out now. Okay, so I figured before we went any further, we would go ahead and open up the box and see what we got. This comes in a cardboard crate. So I'm actually not sure how heavy this thing is. So let's see what we got in here. Yeah, this one here is painted black. Looks like it's supported by styrofoam on one side and supported by nothing on the other. That's brilliant, isn't it? Anyways, hopefully this works. Looks like the same one I've got. Now I was going to tell you, I uh, paid at the dealership, this was $623. So it is not a cheap item and after uh, picking it up just a minute ago this is one of them deals where you really need to have two people so I am gonna have to look up a second person to help me with this just so I don't end up damaging this or my radiator or condenser okay so let's go ahead and take these two clamps off so this one here is a half inch. Okay, so that one there is nice and loose now. 
Yeah, it was. Okay. So let's go ahead and take that other one and loosen it up. Okay, so we got this one here loose now. Let's go ahead and run it forward. Okay. And then this one, we're going to run it backwards. Now you can just simply pull on it and it should just come right off. This one here is wanting a twist. Okay. Just leave the clamp hanging. This one here you will have to remove. Okay, so I've got a brace right here attached to the side of the radiator for the air conditioning line. So let me go ahead and take that loose. I'm just going to put the hardware back in so nothing gets lost. Okay. Okay, so we've got three nuts to loosen up here. This is going to help with the condenser. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, I got a screwdriver. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, that rubber's going to have to stay in there. get this one. I don't know if you can tell but there's actually a metal plate that goes all the way down through here to connect these. And this ain't good. Now there's a nut in there that's actually turning and it should not be turning. So we may end up having to take the grinder and cutting that. Let's try this one. Okay. I'm going to grab the washer off there. We'll come back to that one there. Okay, so let me show you what the problem is right here. Do you see the head of that bolt? Well, it goes inside of this groove, and it's actually supposed to lock it from turning. Well, it's turning. So, now we're going to have to take the grinder and cut that head off. Make sure you wear your glasses.
Okay. So now when we take that bracket off, we'll actually be able to slide this out. Okay, so now we're on the other side. Okay, we got another spinner. What I'm doing is I'm shoving a screwdriver in that hole, same kind of hole that I showed you before, and putting just a little bit of force on it, just so I can unscrew that. Now here's one we have problems with on the other side, and it seems to be fine. And the last one. Okay, grabbing the washers. Okay, we're ready to pull this out. Okay, so I laid down a rug, which this is just an old rug. I keep these things around just for stuff like this. So I laid this on the grill and everything. So let's see if we can pull this thing off here. Being careful, trying to be. Yep, we're hung up on the other side. Let's see what's going on. You want to make sure when you're handling these, you handle them with care, plenty of care. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, this does have rubber lines attached to it. So that's how we're able to flex it out of the way. Okay. You got left and right side. Okay. This is like a little brace slash gasket. So make sure you put it back where it belongs. Okay, with this out of the way, now I can show you how these bolts go in there. You see how there's just a head? All it does is just slide inside there, and you can't turn it. Although the one on the bottom was stripped out. I would advise putting new hardware in if you have it. And if you're going to go buy new hardware, go ahead and get the highest grade that you can. Okay, so we're going to start off doing the bottom bolts first now i did spray this with pv blaster okay i can get my ratchet now now this bottom bolt is a 5 8 Okay, so it's about to come out. So before we get too far ahead, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up this top bolt. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
loosen up this top bolt. Jeez. Ah, we got a problem. I didn't see this right off the bat. Do you see that? This brace here has actually been fixed before. So, I'm going to have to take a grinder and grind this weld off just a little bit. Okay, so you can see that uh, went through and grinded off the welds. I got a little section down there, but it'll probably just pop. Okay, so let's try this again. <sighs> Jeez, that was nice. Important part is it just came free though. Okay, so we'll keep that in for the time being because the whole point is we're just loosening up the bolts and then we're going to take off the bottom ones first and then go for the top last. Okay, so this is a 9 16 Just using the breaker to uh, break it free. Actually, it wasn't very tight. So we're going to go ahead and take this one out. Go grab a hammer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and break this one here free. Nine sixteenths also. Okay, so we're actually about ready to uh, remove this. So let me get this bottom bolt out. Okay, there's the bottom bolt. You about ready, Joel? Okay, this is my son Joel that's going to help me. Okay, 
Go ahead and pull it towards you. Okay, so we're about ready to install the new cooler. We just took it out of the crate. Okay, yeah, bring it up high. Okay, hold it right there for a minute. down. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. Okay, hold it right there a minute. Okay, so it has actually started raining on me, of course. But anyways, this little bracket here, you're going to want to do the center bolt first. Now, if you're wondering, I've got my screwdriver in there to keep the bolt still. Now we're going to tighten it up. Okay, so now we're going to grab a hold of the condenser, and that's hung up on something, hold on a minute, okay, take this, we're going to go ahead and bolt it on, let's get the top in there first. I am also putting a uh, different hardware on here. So, new hardware. Okay, now we're going to jump on over to the other side and get the other top one on that side done. Okay, let's get this one in. It's really starting to rain out here. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten up that center. I thought it was already tightened. Whoops. 
actually, I forgot to do something. Had a lock washer on it. I am getting soaked today. Okay, let's get the top one here. Gotta get this bottom one in. Gotta put a washer in underneath of that. And I am using grade 8 bolts hardware. Okay, let's go ahead to tighten this top one up again. Okay, the center should be fine. Yep. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Okay, only thing that sound is, is these uh, nuts have a washer on added to the bottom of them, and they are uh, clicking on the lock washers. It's hard to get in here.
Okay, there's the bottom one. Now let's go back up here to the top one. And we're going to check the middle one. Okay, the middle one's taken care of. Okay, I just got the uh, straps up for the hood, so let's go ahead and tighten them down. Okay, those are on. Okay, this is a brace for the air conditioning line. So I am going to use some new hardware in this also, which is also great. It's hard to get up underneath here. Now when you're clamping air conditioning lines, remember to use a clamp that's got rubber on it. And if you can see right here, it's got a little rubber boot that I put in underneath of that. If you don't have that, then the metal wears right into the lines. Let me make sure this is tight. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that boot on. This is the hard part, is the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and tighten down the clamp. I'm going to turn this clamp so I don't get poked in here if I'm never doing any other work. Okay, that was tight. So let's go on over to the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and put the tube on. Now this fits into right here, this pipe. If you can see this here. This actually fits into a groove, and then you actually lock the clamp down on it. Now, since I had recently put a turbocharger on this, a new one, I've already cleaned everything up from there. So, we're good. Otherwise, you just take a wire wheel to everything. I used a drill.
Okay, so let's go ahead and put the first clamp on. This is also a spring loaded clamp. We're going to put this to where we don't get hurt if we get in here. Okay, that one's tight. Now, earlier when I was actually taking this boot off, well, I ended up breaking one of my clamps. So, I went uptown and I couldn't find any. So, unfortunately, I've got to use some AutoZone crap until I'm able to go out and buy something good. Now, these right here are cheap, as cheap can be. They're just a couple dollars for a package of two of them, but this is the only thing that I could actually find to fit. So this is gonna be a temporary fix because you do not use these on turbo boots. Reason being is, Really, they're not strong enough. Honestly, I would not use these type of clamps on anything. Unless I absolutely had no other way to get around it. And being a weekend in the area that I'm at, there are no good stores open. So, this is pretty much what I'm left with. And I've got to leave for work here later, so... I will just end up picking up something good while I'm out on the road. Probably tomorrow. Okay, that one's tight. Now, I am going to double clamp this side just because these clamps are so crappy. Okay, so I got two clamps on there. Okay. If I had room, I'd put a third one on there. Just because, yeah. So anyways, so we've got this boot on here now. Okay, we're finished. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing and Rigging Up. I hope you've learned something from this. I hope that if you've never changed an intercooler, you're not going to be nervous about it. This is actually a pretty simple job. Now, I probably could have changed it by myself, but I thought, you know what? Intercoolers, radiators, they are kind of expensive. So, if you can have somebody help you on the removal and installation, things would get a lot easier and more simple for you. But uh, anyways, y'all have a great time. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget hit that like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications that way you know when all my future videos come out so have a good one you'll see me in my next video